I've traveled over 140 countries around the world. As I was, the, I'll paraphrase the phrase in my own neighborhood. The rest of the countries, the world's not a patch on our genes. If we do what we want to do, we need to do. We do what we want to do and need to do it in the rest of the neighborhood. Patching the genes, man. Come on, man. Life philosophy right there. Leading the country. Amazing. Glad to see nothing has changed in 2023. Happy Thursday. Welcome to Z Education. And welcome to another episode of Try Not to Laugh. Here on Thursdays on Z Education, we do our Try Not to Laugh episodes. There's no punishment today, all right? But before we get to today's game, if you missed Tuesday's video, check out Tuesday's video with the editor of Z Education, Megan, where we started our new series, Dear Tyler. So if you have any questions, comments, and concerns, drop a Dear Tyler down below, followed by whatever you want to say. We might try and make this a weekly thing. Next video, including Dev. All right, but enough of that. We got to get to today's video. If you are ready for today's video, head down and like this video. And if you are new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now, on to today's game. Try not to laugh. Go. Okay. I. This is the same guy. This guy does the most outlandish stuff. Why? That's what I want to know. Why? What's a... To make a funny clip? Is it supposed to be funny? Is it supposed to be impressive? I don't know. This is dumb. So I just made the craziest bet ever. I put $3,000 on the Green Bay Packers to win the Super Bowl. Watch. Look, I'm not celebrating you losing money. But you shouldn't have done that. I could have told you. Packers are not good. Come on, man. Come on, man. Look, man, the Packers, what is it, the first time in 30 years? Second time maybe you guys missed the playoffs or finished less than 500? Relax. You guys had a good run. Two Hall of Fame quarterbacks back-to-back. -back. Unfortunately, your luck has run out. It just, it is what it is. Let someone else have a turn, okay? You guys are lucky. Now you get to go root on the Vikings this Sunday when they stomp the Giants, obviously. If you could bring back to life any public figure, who would it be? Jesus. Benjamin Franklin. Tupac, for sure. Princess Diana. George. Oh, <laughs> oh come on. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> that is not funny. That is not funny. No dark humor in 2023. We already went over this. Here you are, making dark jokes. Not funny. When all you want to do is pay for your gas and leave, but the old guy in front of you brought in a stack of 849 tickets. Look at that. We've all been here. And then, somehow, there's two employees. The one employee just keeps emptying in the boxes, filling the shelves instead of coming to help you. Doesn't make much sense. Stop bringing in 850 tickets. Can't you do it on your phone these days? We thought this would be a good idea. <laughs> Oh, yep. Yeah. Nope. That's, yeah, that ain't a good idea. Here we go. Let's take a break. Look at that. You got a two inch mattress down there. Bam. <sighs> Crayon eaters. Marines, that's you. That's what, hey, you know what? You had to try. I, I commend the attempt. You needed about 10 more of those mattresses, though. There you go. Government property, just trashed. Seen it a thousand times. Heading into 2023, like. Playing some pull. Oh! Are you good? Yeah, let's not do this anymore. Are you okay? <laughs> he says, let's not do this anymore. Yeah, I could have told you that. If you want to play some polo, get a pony. Working in customer service. Okay, not a problem. Yeah, no, no, no. Great chatting with you. Okay, take care. Bye for now. Oh, idiot. <laughs> uh, do you work customer service? Have you been here? I've worked customer service, not like this, but uh, it sucks. The customer's always right. You get an idiot in there telling you how to do your job. They have no idea what they're talking about. And all I have to do is smile and nod and say, yes, yes, you're right. I hate it. But that's what you get to do. You can deal with idiots all day in customer service. Drop your best customer service down in the comments when your teacher asks you to read the next paragraph for the class um uh i can't have trouble reading this reuters uh, the tangent about both what by by off to a great start this year good analogy though you get called on for the class you got to read sucks 
Tony Robbins seminar. Life wasn't always easy for me growing up. I remember when I was eight years old, I was a janitor. I lived under a bridge. I had no arms and no legs. I weighed 596 pounds. I had to vibrate to communicate. It was very challenging. They looked at me and they called me the potato troll. The villagers feared me at 9 p.m. at night. They'd come at me with pitchforks and torches. Austin Sasso. Yeah, go follow him. He's, he's a funny comedian. Uh, great spoof of Tony Robbins. And a lot of these financial gurus, these feel-good gurus, uh, think and be and do, thinking it will become real people. They have all these really outlandish stories. Like, I lived under a bridge at eight years old. I was a janitor, 800 pounds, no arms and legs. Get real. Otherwise, there'd be nobody to take care of them. How did Bubbles get the Chiefs game? What's going on here, Bubs? Shouldn't you be up in Nova Scotia, buddy? Feeding them kitties. Come on, man. How'd you get here? Who let Bubbles in the background? Is this on purpose? So you're gonna throw paint on a building that probably now needs to be cleaned off with chemicals to bring awareness to stop oil? hate these people hey to our own dismay these people they're taking a break unfortunately i said this before it's always fun when you go to a, a sporting event and there's the potential of someone to run onto the court and glue their face to the floor that's entertaining that's entertainment at its finest so it's very sad to hear that they're going to take a break all right uh you know and they're not doing anything they throw the can of soup on the painting which is protected the painting isn't even getting ruined, you know, and they glue their hand to it. That's entertaining, though. So we have to thank them for that. Yes, they they, they fail to see the uh, the faults in their thinking, but that's part of the entertainment as well, right? Where did the trash go? I don't know. I thought you were going to take it out. Well, it was just here a minute ago. Well, it's not like it just grew legs and walked away. <laughs> Who is that? That is not funny. You know, for for the video, this is I do applaud. Go on the extra length. You put someone in a trash bag. Ugh, I just I can't laugh at that. I just can't. I am 29 years old, and I just need to know if there's anyone out there who has had an experience with at-home printing that hasn't made them want to commit acts of violence. I hate this thing. I hate it. I hate it and it hates me and together we have a toxic, disgusting relationship of failure. I'm done. Look, I, I am willing to invest in someone that makes a real printer that doesn't require you to sign in and log in, download an app and have a user login name every time you try to print something. If, you're, if there's a printer out there that doesn't require any of that garbage, I'll invest. Just have a USB, HDMI, whatever hookup, a universal hookup, plug it into the printer, plug it into your computer, click print. That's it. That's all you need. You don't need this other garbage. Oh, we gotta update the app. Gotta do that. No, just print it. I'm sick and tired of it. We, we, it's 2023. We don't need an app for everything. Did you know that? Huh? Scam artist, man. Got a candy camera. Hidden camera here. <laughs> That's terrible. Oh my goodness gracious. I literally was just looking at where somebody left their phone in my car. Oh, that reaction. <laughs> that is not nice. You should not play that prank on people. PSA. Just FYI. Don't do that. That's, that's terrible. Look at this toilet paper holder. Such a genius design. It's exactly how it works. Yep. Uh, if you didn't know that. If you, you know, a lot of people, they don't like the mullets. Those people, if they don't like the mullets and they bitch at you for it, do that. That's what they get. Bill Clinton goes night night at the Giants game. Bill! Bill! 
Quick, there's an intern over here. Wake up, buddy. Wake up. Intern, 21 years old. Wake up, buddy. He'll snap up just like that. Do that if you want to wake up, Bill. You do not want a personalized license plate. Believe me on this one. I thought I got a good one. I couldn't believe it was available. One word, coffee. That's it. Do you know how many 45-year-old men come up to me and go, I'll bet you like coffee. Too many. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I, I've never understood the allure of the, the personalized plates. Especially one like that. Like, what's up? Are you, do you, are you a CEO of a coffee company? Do you sell coffee? Like, to just getting the word coffee just because you like coffee, it just, I don't know, the extra money, you pay extra taxes to get that? I, I just don't know. I don't know if I like it. Nope. So I think I met the love of my life today. I was at Guitar Center shredding as usual. And this girl came up to me and said that I remind her of Leonardo DiCaprio in I can't, uh, some movie about grapes. <laughs> shredding as usual. This guy's hilarious. What is it? L.A. Turtle, right? Uh, if you if the joke is over your head, just type in "What's eating Gilbert Grape" on YouTube. Enjoy. The joke will make sense. Yo, when she think you being a gentleman and opening the door for her, but really, you just opening your own door, bro. If you have to drive a car like this, no. If you choose to drive a car like this to save money, I applaud you. That's how it's done. Don't don't spend a thousand dollars a month on a new car. Do not do that. If you don't have the money to to get that, obviously. Okay, so I want to run something by you guys, and I want to know if I'm the only person who has to deal with things like this. Log into Facebook and let me show you what my dad has posted. This. Like, what is this? And there's no additional context. This is it. So then he has a couple friends respond. And these are the responses. Like, what what does all of this mean? Like, <laughs> like does anybody else have to deal with this? Like, this is just the strangest thing that they do. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just wonder if I'm if I'm the only one. One of the best gifts to the world. Greatest enjoyments, greatest pleasures. It could be a bad thing in some situations, but it's 99% entertaining. When Mark Zuckerberg allowed old people to get on Facebook, give them access to Facebook. Because it used to be a college thing. It used to just be, you know, exclusive college deal. And old people started figuring it out. And they started posting stuff. And this is the crap they post all the time. But I will say, I love celebrating medium rare steak. It tastes delicious. It does. You know, uh, <laughs> I can't even. We, we should do a, a video on this just exclusively of old people online because it's beautiful. It truly is. It's a gift to the world. Enjoy it. Don't get mad at your grandma and grandpa. Don't do that. Relish in it. Enjoy it. Indulge in it. Push it. Make more of this type of stuff happen for the rest of us to laugh. How podcast tells you to start a business. Don't break it down. What you want to do is you want to wake up every morning at 1.47 a.m. You don't even want to eat breakfast. Don't even drink water. Create an LLC as soon as you wake up. Then when you do with that LLC is you go and apply for a business loan, get $100 million within 15 hours. Then you take that $100 million, $50,000, million, then you go buy NBC. Now you own NBC. So when you own NBC, you want to take the money you make from NBC and make a trust fund. Then you want to stop having having damn fun. Now life is boring. After that, you want to make sure you stay up for seven weeks straight, no sleep, no food, no water. No, You want to fast every day. You don't want to eat at all for seven hours straight for 70 days straight. You don't want to eat, you don't want to drink water. Then from there, you want to purchase a Komodo dragon. When you do that, you buy a pet monkey. With the pet monkey, you send the pet monkey to the moon to go find kryptonite. Once you get the kryptonite, you put it on Amazon and have someone drop ship it for you. Oh, it's the best, you best representation of uh, financial gurus online. All you got to do is this, 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 and this, and this, and then you're going to be a billionaire. It's like, what? Wait a minute, maybe you're the one making the money off of the people viewing and wanting... That lifestyle, you're taking advantage of them. Yeah, maybe that's why. Stitch this with your hottest take. Luxury brands are one of the biggest scams in human history. 
True. Like, you don't look cool for having a $10,000 t-shirt or a $20,000 bag. $10,000? You look stupid because it probably cost $10. Are those real? $10,000 t-shirts? $10,000 bags? Even if you have that money, that's insane. Uh, and he's right. It probably cost $10, maybe 20 to make. So you, if you indulge in those brands, are an idiot. Oh, you're paying for the exclusivity. Who cares? Who cares about that crap? That stuff doesn't matter. Thanks, FedEx, for your care of my shipment. Wow. Oh, make sure that flap's closed. Yep. All right, I'm going to go ahead and speak for FedEx, UPS, all of those delivery people, Amazon. I think, and don't quote me on this, I think that Chewy boxes are the least favorite things of FedEx, UPS, Amazon. I think they hate Chewy boxes. If you are one of those delivery people, let me know in the comments. Let me know if I'm right. That being said, she just threw the package. That's terrible. How to quietly fight with your wife. Ooh, put the mullet. Yep. Nice. Ooh, next level. Seat up. <laughs> Dude, you, you must really, really be in a fight. That's terrible. You know what? Okay, if you want to take it next level, leave some, uh, some facial hairs. Some facial hairs in the sink. Just a little bit. Just sprinkle some. Sprinkle them in the sink. Sprinkle them on the counter. Just a little bit. That. That. Will piss her off. When you finally get your Christmas tree corner back. Look at all this floor space. So much. Your robots in here. So many activities. It is nice when you clear that Christmas tree out. And I know. I know. <laughs> I know there's some of you watching this that still have your Christmas tree up. I know it. I know it. But I want to tell you. First. There's help. Help is out there. Help is available if you need it. Two, on this video, if you clear that tree out, you're going to have a lot more room for activities. So you got something to look forward to when you take that tree down. Stop breaking the, the rules of the road and take the tree down. It's time. Look at that. Nice. Yeah. Well, since, you know, the winter weather has been making its way, for herself, and it usually does, and a lot of people probably don't know uh, the tips how to use this from a lifelong northerner here. So, first thing you want to do is you're going to start your car, right? Start up, buddy. Come on. There we go. There we go. She fired up. There we go. Once you get that done, make sure your heat is on high. Then, you take your scraper and you put her right there on the gas pedal, right to your seat, like so. And then you just go back inside the house for five minutes. And by the time you get back out here, she'll be nice and thawed off. Or just do it like 10 minutes early without wasting a bunch of gas. Yeah, you don't want to piss Greta off either, right? Or do you? Yeah? Do you know who the current vice president is? Um, George Bush? No, not the president, the vice president. Bill Clinton. Yes. What country is Hawaii in? Like, what part of what country? Not again. Uh, not again. California. Yes. How many makeup? One dozen. How much makeup? Yeah. Like, how many? Is it one dozen? Twelve. Wait, six. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> you tell me. How many? I'm so confused. How much makeup is it? One dozen? Yeah. Twelve. <laughs> I was, it's twelve, right? Is it a dozen or is it six? You tell me. Final answer. Six. All right, at this point, I'm convinced that people know who this guy is and they say the wrong answer on purpose. There's no way. There's no way people are that stupid. The California one, ah. I just, I think you made it up. Everyone's grandma in the 70s. That's fire. That's gas. Oh, Wheel of Fortune finna hit different on that. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune about to hit different on that. True. I think my grandma had this exact couch. Everyone's grandma had this. Don't lie.
I, I bet some of your grandmas still have this couch. 2023, I'm gonna wash my face when I, before I go to bed. I'm gonna eat really healthy. No tequila. Is that Kelsey Ballerina? Wake up early. Country singer. Work out. Go for a walk. Next year, 2024. At least you're not lying to yourself, right? Maybe next year. Let's, most people, no, they're just, don't even make the resolutions. Are you still doing it? Are you still going strong in your resolutions? I hope he was joking. I don't think he was, but there's an election coming up. Come on, man. When your husband doesn't understand how expensive Starbucks is. And that is it. All right, so it's $20.59. Thank you. <laughs> what the fuck did we get? 20 bucks. <laughs> what did we get? How much is this sweet corn? <laughs> they charge us for being on the line? I would've went inside. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you to throw something off. <laughs> Those drinks have to be $8 each. <laughs> At least. And they are. Starbucks is running one of the greatest scams in the history of scams. A cup of coffee should cost like 10 to 15 cents. 20, maybe? Well, let's just say 25 because you have to include the cup, the price of the cup. And they're selling a cup of coffee, black coffee, for like three, four dollars. They're making an insane amount of money on coffee. And then you get all the foo-foo drinks that they're charging 10 bucks for. Giant scam. Hey man, customer out there wants to know what our cheapest cut of meat is. Uh, probably the venison balls. They're under a buck. It's been a while. But that is dumb joke of the day. Wow. If you always sleep on the left, start sleeping on the right. My husband and I switch every couple months. This is the definition of a serial killer. <laughs> they don't switch sides. What are you talking about? You go to stay at a place that isn't your home. You have the same sides. My wife and I never switch sides. You switch sides? Are you nuts? What's wrong with you? Do you guys switch sides? You and your spouse, huh? Let me know in the comments. How would you say your mental focus is? Oh, it's focused. <laughs> I, say it's, I think it's, I, I haven't, look, I have trouble even mentioning, even saying to myself my own head the number of years. I no more think of myself as being as old as I am than fly. I mean, it's just not, uh, uh, I haven't observed anything in terms of, there's not things I don't do now that I did before, whether it's physical or mental or anything else. That was a real answer by him. And we still, he's still there. Know, how the hell is this going on still? Oh no. Ah. Oh, look at that. Reminder guys. That might be waiting for you outside right now. So end this video and go do it. How would you do in today's video? Did you laugh at any of these clips? If you did, you lose. There is no punishment today. Just make sure you watch on Sunday where you test yourself again. And leave your dear Tyler and dear Dave comments down below. Let me know how you did in today's video down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help me get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed. This is education. For the children. Idiots.